hey, this is Jeff with Miller's RV, and today we're gonna look at the Road Warrior 427. Hey, before we begin taking a look at this, please do me a favor, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we get new content out, and if you will, like and comment on this video. We wanna know the questions you want us to answer. Let's go take a look at the Road Warrior 427. Okay, so we're inside the 427 Road Warrior here, and I wanna say I'm really impressed. This is an awesome fifth wheel. Great floor plan, great for entertaining, great for being able to have a lot of people and still have the room. Let's start in the kitchen. One thing that's awesome, you have these little bar stools that flip out, so there's two bar stools, which if you're anything like us, at our house, this is where we hang out. We hang out in the kitchen, you know, I'm talking to whoever's cooking, it just kind of gives you a nice little thing, and then when you're not using them, you just pull the little lever and they flip up and go flat out of the way. Great kitchen space, solid surface countertops, um, nice storage around here. It has the large residential size Furion uh, microwave, a Furion oven, and the bigger burner. So you have a nice big burner on there as well. The refrigerator is a residential style French refrigerator. So it's got the refrigerator on the top, the freezer on the bottom, and it's 110. For me, that's important. I always say on my videos that I like the residential refrigerators because they freeze ice cream. And you know, everybody needs ice cream in their life. Um, they also have these crazy infinity light things. There's three of them in the slide out. Uh, great spacing again, three ACs on this unit. So even down here in the summer, it's hot. The three ACs are gonna keep you cool, which is great. Now, another thing I love is the sofa on this. This thing is set up for entertaining, for watching the ball game and all that. Let's take a look at this. This is seriously cool. One, two, three, four, five recliners in this, this unit. I mean, what a way to sit and watch the football game, watch whatever sport you want to have on. Uh, it is, it's awesome and these are really, really comfortable. Uh, even have the USB plug in here and all that stuff on the armrest. But this is great. So this coach, again, is made for entertaining. Um, tons of room. If you also want to eat here, there are places to put the tables up uh, and little tables that go on the ear, well, on the ends that stick in for holding your drinks and stuff. Um, so I'm, again, I'm seriously impressed. This is awesome. And if you think this entertaining area is great, let me show you the next one. So on my way out, I don't want you to miss, this thing has got a loft bed. Twin size bed up here, so an extra sleeping area for somebody up here. Uh, has an AC vent right up there as well. Light in there, 110 plug up above them. So a great area if somebody has a little extra loft bed. And then the ladder gets up and out of the way when you don't need it. Huge TV center, TV with entertainment center and a fireplace, because you know everybody needs a fireplace. Cool thing about the fireplace, you can actually turn the light on without having the heat on, which I really like. Good storage up there, but this is what I want to show you. Let's take a look. So man, I just love this. Outdoor patio that is on the side. It's underneath your awning. I don't have that out right now, but it's underneath your awning. Has its own set of step above more ride steps. Safety lock here, so this thing slides up and then opens up to allow, keep your kids safe while they want to make sure you don't walk down the stairs. Big entertainment center here that flips down. Uh, the con Furion control over there as well, so you can choose your inputs for your different TV. But I love this patio area. I think it's just awesome. Uh, the rear still does make a patio area like most of the toy haulers out there do. But man, why not have it underneath your awning in this space area where you're normally gonna be hanging out? Why not put a patio? I think this is great. So awesome use of space, great entertaining area. And again, if you run out of room on that five seater recliner in the sofa, you can come out here and watch the game too. Okay, let's go take out the toy room on this. And again, the toy hauler today's uh, toy hauler fifth wheels is also a living room. So toy hauler, den, kids room, whatever you wanna call it. Let's go see. So here we are in the bedroom or the rear toy hauler area. And obviously, as you can see, it's got a washer and dryer already in it. So not only is it prepped for it, it's got the washer and dryer. On this side over here is a half bath, outside sink. So you do have a whole different setup here. Um, you can use it as a living space. There still are tie downs in the floor and the carpet rolls up so you can have your um, traction surface for your, your toys if you do it. The back deck does lay down for another garage, another uh, patio area out there so you can have a patio area or the toy ramp and there's glass doors that close across so you've got the double sofas that flip down 
and then another bed that comes over so you can have two queen size sleeping bunk areas here with their own TV. This is like the kids dream. Their own hangout area. They've got uh, side windows outside so they can look outside. They can have the rear patio down. The glass light, windows light to look out but still keeps air conditioning inside. I mean, what a fun area if you're a kid. This is a great way to do it. And again, with kids, always means dirty clothes, right? So then you got your washer and dryer, take care of those dirty clothes while you're at it. So wonderful area, whether you're gonna be carrying toys or like so many people are doing today with toy haulers, they're just doing it for extra space. They're doing it for this rear bunk room. So their kids have this huge space as a play area, as a double queen bed sleeping area. That's a great way to do it. Either one, whichever works for you too. And it has its own side door as well. So again, this is set up not just for toys, but you can see it has its own door so they can come in and out of here, which means using the rear bath and coming in and out, not having to get the front living area of the camper dirty. Because again, kids and camping usually means dirty. So they can come in and out of here, go to the bathroom. Uh, just a great space all the way around. Again, I love this thing. I'm really impressed. But let's go look up front because I think you're gonna be surprised at the bathroom in this thing. Take a look in here, will ya? Porcelain full-size toilet and a full-size tub. My wife would love this. When you go to the campground, look, I'll take the kids, get them back there watching TV, take care of feeding them. She'll be in here having her own tub and relaxing and getting some of her quiet time so that uh, the kids aren't just, she's not serving the kids all day. She's actually getting her time as well and we'll tag team that and I'll watch the game a little bit and then she'll come take a bathtub a little bit and everybody'll be happy. Uh, queen size bed here, great storage on the slide out behind you. So just an awesome, awesome, awesome floor plan. The three ACs again down in the south make it really, really nice. So we'll take a look outside and see if this might be just the right coach for you. Okay, so 10 gallon gas electric water heater, outside furnace, big uh, full pass through storage compartment with your battery disconnects. And as you can hear, if you listen closely, this coach has a generator already on it. Double 30 pound bottles, and there's front and a main awning. So the whole uh, side of this all the way to the back of the patio is all gonna be awning space. Let's go look on the other side. So the other side of the coach, not only do you have your pass through storage area, but you also have your water compartment all tucked in, uh, keeps it out of the weather. You have an outside hose, so it'll extend out. You can get hot and cold water, washing the dog, cleaning fish, washing the kids, whatever you need to do there. Big slide outs on both of these. Uh, and again, man, what a beautiful paint job. So great looking coach as well. Um, there is a ladder on the rear of this coach that extends down. So even when your toy ramp is down, you can open that ladder and access the roof or not from the side. So great feature to have that ladder on the side as well. Love this Road Warrior. Again, this might be the right coach for you. Why don't you give us a call, Miller's RV, 225-275-2940. Send an email to sales at Miller's RV. See if we can figure out if this is the right coach for you. Again, this is Jeff at Miller's RV. Enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was both informative and entertaining. Please subscribe, click the link, notification button, comment below, click one of these other links and watch one of the other videos. We appreciate you. Enjoy the journey.